Hi, this is AJ, Director of Support with ESP Vision. Today's tutorial will walk you through the process for installing Vision plugins for Vectorworks Spotlight 2015 in a Microsoft Windows environment. To begin, we need to run the Vision 2 updater, uh, and you should be able to find an icon on your desktop that says Vision 2 Update, or you can go directly to it uh, by going to the Program Files Vision 2.2 folder and looking for the Vision updater there and running it from uh, that folder as well. What this does is it downloads an updated version of Add Plugins, which is set up to configure Vectorworks 2015. Once the updater has completed, as it has here, you can click on Done. And now we need to go into the Vision 2 folder, which once again, there should be a desktop icon for you. Uh, if not, like I said before, you can go to Program Files, Vision 2.2. Look in this folder for an addplugins.exe that was just recently added to this file. We're going to double click and run that. Of course, click I agree on the license agreement information and then select Vectorworks 2015 plugins from the options that are listed. When you click on next, it brings you to the install directory. Uh, if you haven't made any modifications to the default installation of Vectorworks 2015, you shouldn't have to do anything on this page. The only time you would have to do that is if you, for whatever reason, uh, have decided to put Vectorworks someplace other than the default, which is Program Files Vectorworks 2015. If you have done that, you would just simply click the Browse button and browse to the folder that contains vectorworks2015.exe. I use the default, so I'm just going to click install, and it's going to go through the process there, telling me that I have, in fact, successfully installed the 2015 64-bit plugins. It also tells me that uh, I'm going to be referencing Vision 2 libraries, which is great. And then it's going to run the updater. Uh, this is going to download the Vectorworks 2015 symbol library that ESP Vision uses uh, inside Vectorworks. Uh, this file is a very large file. It's about 400 megs. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to pause the video, uh, let uh, the download happen. Uh, depending upon the speed of your internet connection, this file can take anywhere from 30 seconds to a couple of minutes to download. Uh, so uh, I'm going to pause and I'll see you back in a second or two. Now that that update is completed, we can click Done once again. And the next step is to open Vectorworks so that we can configure it uh, for using the plugins. Please note that this is a one-time setup, uh, the first time that you uh, configure uh, the plugins for use with Vectorworks, and it's not something you have to do over and over again. So we're going to go up under Tools, and we're going to come down to the Workspaces. Make sure that depending upon your license of Vectorworks that you've got Spotlight checked there, and then we're going to go to Edit Workspace, uh, Edit Current Workspace, which is going to open the dialog that allows us to add a new menu item called ESP Vision uh, across the top here uh, so that we can then access the plugins uh, as we draw uh, our model within Vectorworks. On the left hand side here we've got a new menu and we're just going to drag and drop. I usually put mine directly above the window uh, but you can put it anywhere in this hierarchy of uh, menus that you want and I'm just going to name it ESP. And then over on the left hand side I'm going to find ESP Vision, uh, expand that and uh, one by one I'm going to drag Edit Vision Data, ESP Screen, and Export ESC uh, underneath the ESP menu item and click OK. You'll see that Vectorworks will kind of reconfigure itself and now has a new menu item at the top uh, called ESP with those three plugins listed so that you can access them directly from the menu structure. The only thing that's left is accessing the resource browser uh, and applying a new favorite file that is the ESP symbol library that the Vision Updater just downloaded. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this arrow here at the top of the resource browser, add a new favorite file, and we're going to browse into the Vision 2.2 stock folder looking for the ESP symbols underscore 2015 file that we just downloaded. Now it's very important that you not take a copy of this file and move it around uh, because this is the file that gets updated every time ESP Vision adds new fixture libraries, new fixture symbols, and things like that. So you don't want to be in a situation where you get yourself out of sync uh, with your Vectorworks plugins and your Vectorworks symbols versus those that are in ESP Vision. 
Once you've made that change, you can now come here to the drop down. You see ESP Symbols 2015 is your option there uh, under Favorites. And then as it loads up, you can see that uh, all the different uh, manufacturers are now able to use uh, in your model as you create it uh, for ESP Vision. Thank you for watching. This is AJ. I hope you found this video educational and entertaining. Hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching.